dude, so glad you're here, man. Glad to be here, and, man. Seriously. It's a blessing. Yeah, man. Dude, so I want to get right into it. How I first got saw your content on on Instagram, and I probably think for most people, a lot a yeah, lot of folks absolutely. was your like viral Steve Harvey uh, <laughs> voiceover of Every Man Needs what was it five, five, su- suits, five yeah. suits. That's, that's etched and, into my brain, <laughs> dude. And, and, yeah, I mean, and, and I never seen an edit so smooth. Wow, like especially like on a reel, and like it was so seamless. And he showed all the versions of a suit, and it was like. I think that thing has like, is it 2.8 million view, uh, likes or something like that? Yeah, 2.8 million likes, over 60 million views. Jeez. Yeah, crazy. That's, and that's just Instagram. That's just Instagram. It's about like 30, 30 million views on TikTok. Yeah, so it went crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy. So I want, I want to talk about that. And obviously, I want to, I want to get into your story. Yeah. Because what it sounds like to me, and you know, we sat over lunch, it, it wasn't like you were planning to necessarily go viral. Absolutely not. <laughs> but so like, tell me like, tell me about that moment. Then we'll kind of jump into it. But I'm, I'm really curious about that. So how that moment came to be is funny because um, I had been in the space for about a year and two months prior to posting that. And I was posting consistently uh, weekly um, up until that point. And one of my friends from college, her name is Gloria. Shout out to Gloria. Come on, Gloria. <laughs> um, because she like she saw the work that I was doing on social media, and she DMs me this audio of Steve Harvey. And it's like, every man has to own a black suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you get a black suit. And I was like, God has gifted me with this, like, vi- the ability to, like, see something to completion and work backwards to, like, actually mm. create it, right? Yeah, yeah. So when she sent me the, the audio, I saw the video, like, to completion. It was there. You saw it, yeah. Yeah, so she was like, you should make, you should make a reel to this. I was like... I see the real in my head. And it happened to be the week of my birthday. So I created the video, posted on that Saturday, like I always post. I post I post it every Saturday at 10 a.m. And I post the video, and like within the first hour, the numbers that it was getting was like greater than anything I had posted Jeez. prior to that. And it like just continued to just like snowball over time. Like just it would not stop. My following was at like maybe twenty five thousand when I posted it. Yeah, I want to say after maybe like a week, a week and a half, it shot up to three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. I'm like, we can when, have. Like when is this gonna stop? <laughs> <laughs> and what's crazy? Oh, did you hold up? I I'm curious. Okay, two point eight million likes. Did your phone just like? Did you have to like turn off notifications? Yeah, eventually, and they're still off to this day. Like I don't. There's because that would like burn up my phone. Yeah, like it was, cr- it was nonstop That's on not, both platforms on TikTok and Instagram. That's I was like, crazy. This, is, this ha- I had. I think I had seventeen hundred followers on TikTok before that. I'm over, at over half a million now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like was, it was. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. Man, yeah. So okay. So so you post it, and and obviously like. You're you're in the fashion. That's your thing. That's that's kind of been your focus. Mm-hmm. What what led you to that? What led you to even want to make content? And obviously, it's your business. Yeah, for sure. What what what, what, what would you call yourself as far as your business? Is it is it more just fashion? Mm-hmm. Is would you call yourself an influencer? Like, what would you describe yourself? I would say professionally, I'm a digital marketing specialist, but I would also say that I'm a men's fashion and lifestyle content creator and influencer. Got it. As Got well, it. from a title perspective, for sure. And what led up to me creating content and like creating my own business was initially my passion for fashion. I've always loved fashion, always loved it, but um, in 2018 to 2019, I had a significant shift in my life. I was single bachelor living downtown to becoming in a year becoming a husband and a father. Wow. Um, in one year. In one year. Man. And I'm having to move in with my wife, learn how to raise a kid, learn how to be a mm-hmm. husband. And like that happened so quickly that I needed something for myself just for expression. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Like and I was a part of a Bible study that I'm still a part of now called Lit Bible Study. And I was leading the men in that group. And I was expressing like, you know, things have happened so quick. Yeah, you yeah. know, yada yada yada. And this guy, his name's Dante, shout out Dante. Um he so it was like you need a passion project. Sounds like you need a passion project. And I'm like, what? Okay. Yeah. Cool. What is it? like I don't know what that could be about. But um eventually I got to a point, actually before, backing up a little bit, before I actually started the passion project, God called me to fast social media for six months. So that's what I wanted to get to. Yeah. Because that that was fascinating to me. Like the Lord had you just like 
halt and stop. Yeah. It wasn't like you were just going, going, going. Like, yeah. the Lord specifically asked you to just go on a fast. Yeah, this is this is in the midst of, so 2018, 2019, I'm new to fatherhood. And after that, the pandemic happens. And that's when he told me to fast social media. It was in it was mid-year. I remember it was mid-year he told me to fast social media. So I'm a new husband, new father, moving in with my wife, learning how to be a dad. The only entertainment I really have outside of my family, because right. yeah, the yeah. world has shut down, is social media. Right. And God's like, put it down. Wow. For six months, the rest of the year. Man. And I was like, okay, Dang. I'll do it. I, I turned my IG off for a week, and I was like. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> but, what's, but what's crazy, though, is like in that six-month period, I think that it was so intentional of God because I needed that time to be in a like an incubator almost mm. to learn how to become a father, yeah, to yeah, learn yeah. to cleave to my wife, to yeah. learn my identity in Christ on a deeper level um, in that six month period. Right. And I think it's crazy that the thing that he called me to put down is a thing that he would eventually use to create as much abundance wow. as he has. But it's like, I think he needed to know that like, I can surrender this to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I when I do prosper you in it, you won't put it above me. Right. 